Saffron Beach, yeah, look, she's an outstanding filly. Um, first crop of New Bay, who is looking very, very exciting. Captured everybody's imagination from the word go. As has she, look, she's she's a great uh, advertisement also for the for the training regime of Jane Chapel Hyam. Oh, well, it was while COVID was on, I received a call from Ben Sankster asking to come down and see her. Um, so we had to wait till after all Ascot and all the restrictions were lifted about five days after the meeting. So I went down and viewed her, loved her, and then we organised to bring her back up the next week. She's just gone from strength to strength, but in a funny kind of way, her first two runs showed a lot when she won her maiden and then two weeks later she backed up for the oh so sharp. And when Adam Kirby got off her, we knew there and then because he said she felt like a special filly. Uh, she did really well in the Nell Gwyn. Um, and then we used that as a stepping stone. She was probably only 85% fit and then waited another two weeks and then ran in the guineas. So that was a highlight. And then since then, She's picked up group ones, whether it be at Newmarket or over in Deauville, and she's just proved a tough, consistent filly. We've had the Royal Ascot Duke of Cambridgeshire, and that was group two. And then we've also picked up a Sun Chariot at Newmarket, group one, and the Preda Rothschild at Deauville, group one. So, you know, she's, she's thrived and done well in all those top races. She's a fine flagship for, for the Tattersall's December foal sale and to see her return as a four-year-old and to be one of the stars of the inaugural Scepter sessions at the Tattersall's December breeding stock sale is, uh, yeah, there's, there's symmetry there as well. So yeah, it's, it's a great story. She's got all the attributes that breeders from throughout the world will be looking for. And uh, look, she's, she, can, she can race on as well. She's a, she's a very, very good race filly. And uh, whoever, whoever ends up uh, as the proud new owners, they can, they can decide which direction to take her from here. She's been sold as a horse in training, as you can see. And um, hopefully the lucky purchaser might enjoy having a trip to Hong Kong. She's in the 4 million US um, Hong Kong Mile and we've accepted the invitation and so it'd be a lovely swan song. So then it will be up to the new purchasers if they would like her to run in their colours and we do some quick paperwork and but we're all set with our visas at this end and then um, we'll just roll the dice and see what the new purchaser would like to do. She's feisty but she's a nice feisty mare. Um, she's, she's got a kind side to her. Um, she's a very good doer and you know it's got to be hard when she goes because she's in box one and so for a couple of years seeing her every morning but um, hopefully she'll have a nice career at stud and get some top stallions. Well everyone's been you know thrilled that what she's done throughout the last couple of years so I'm sure they'll all miss cheering her on but um, yeah, it's been, it's been a nice few years. Um, we're lucky enough to keep her on as a four-year-old and she didn't pack her bags and go off to stud at the end of her three-year-old career. So, um, especially the last month, we've been enjoying seeing her every day. The connections uh, of, of Saffron Beach, they've been in the game for a long time. They're, uh, they're deeply knowledgeable and enthusiastic, so it's great to see them with such a fantastic filly on their hands and uh, they'll be very well rewarded, I'm sure.